Hey there, Toons. Coach Con here with another video. Um, I'm great to be back doing this again, and I'm looking forward to making some more videos. Uh, this video is about risky ventures and what you don't want to be trying to do. Before we get on to the video, I just want to show you this. I was in the street, and I saw this toon standing in the middle of the street, just not doing anything. And then a cog walked up, and he got in a battle with the cog. And me being me, I went and got him out of the battle and helped him. Okay, I'm not even sure if he even knew he was in a battle when he came back. But you've got to be careful of these things. If you're not on Toontown, or you're away from the keyboard, can you move into the street, please? So that, you know, you don't get into a battle that you don't want. I mean, it's a useful bit of advice that you should take on board. Anyway, this is a level 4 low bot building in Daisy Gardens. Now, I was with this tune. She was up only about 50, 60 laugh, I can't remember. But uh, we, got in, we got into the building and we didn't know what to expect. And it was illegal, legal, level 10 on the first floor. So, you know, we were a bit cautious, hmm, looking, looking maybe a little bit hard. Um, I used a squirt and so did the rabbit, however, it wasn't enough to take him down. And he struck back and did us more damage. Then we both used throw, both used fruit pies. Yet that wasn't enough to take him down. And he struck back again. And then eventually he did go down. And we decided, yeah, our laugh's still okay. So we moved on to the next floor. And it was another level 10 legal eagle. So we thought, no, okay. Well, we didn't do so good last time, so let's see what we can do this time. I used a birthday cake and she used a fire hose. Now that's not her fault because we both chose our gags at the same time. So how was she to know that I was choosing to throw? Um, but it's fine, you know. He doesn't go down, amazingly. And he's on a flashing red light but it still wasn't enough. Next round I used a s squirt gun. And just before the next cog arrives, she uses a fruit pie. Now you need a hurry, you can't take that long. Once you see that another cog is coming out of the elevator, you need to hurry. You need to hurry that gag choice, okay? Uh, the cog does go down, thankfully, and we are on to the next cog. I decided to use a birthday cake because we're in such dire circumstances. And she uses a salsa bottle. Not enough, not enough. I mean, she saw that a birthday cake and a fire hose last round wasn't enough to take out the legal eagle. So where in her mind did she think, oh, I'm going to use a weaker gag to see if it takes out the same level cog. What was she thinking? Um, and the cog does go down eventually. But it took too long. It really should have been, you know, bang, 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 quickly work together, use the same gag track. Didn't happen. I checked the gags and, well, they weren't perfect, but I thought they were manageable. They were manageable. However, I didn't know what to expect on the next floor, and I didn't really expect to get past the next floor. But I went anyway, and then, boy was I shocked when I got there. I tried to find, use the same gag in speed chat, couldn't find it, wasn't there. Then there was a level 9 and two level 8s, and yeah, I knew that after this floor, we were getting out. We were getting out of there. I was not continuing on to the next floor. I decided to use Lua while she randomly uses a salsa bottle on the level 8 cog. What is the point in this? I'm using the Lua and she's using a salsa bottle, right? Okay, that, that of course works. I mean, why wouldn't you use a salsa bottle on Lua cogs? I was being sarcastic too. The Lua does not hit and the cog does not go down. Hmm. Oh, but he's on a yellow light. Oh, what was going through her mind then? Seriously. And all three cogs strike back. Next round, our laugh's looking pretty low. I ponder for a while on whether to use an SOS card. And I was seriously thinking of using an SOS card. Where I thought, well, nothing is strong enough to take out any of these cogs. So what would be the point? I'm just going to try and... And she uses another salsa bottle on the level 8 cog. Ah, oh, could be worse. She could have used it on another random cog. Oh, no. She's using it on the same cog. Well, at least that's a bonus. I'm deciding to use Lua. Again, it fails. But even if it had hit 
Imagine what that level 8 cog could do. I mean, seriously, she's not working with me at all. We don't have any connection. The cogs strike back. So, next round, what do we decide to do? I decide there's no point. We're not going to survive. I'm going to try and use drop. Okay? She uses a tune-up on me. Thank you. That is the best thing she's done all round. And you know how guilty I felt after this fight for not tuning her back up? Extremely guilty. But listen, Tunes, you can't just throw a tune out in the open like that. You need to wait till the cogs are lured. She was putting the pressure on me. I had to lure those cogs. And you've seen how much it had failed in the past. And I should have lured them. Why didn't I lure them? I'll be asking myself that question. The tune-up misses, but she did her best, and we go sad. Now, where did we go wrong in that? I think if we look back, it was the second floor. Once we'd finished that, we had the opportunity. You know what? We're not going to do this building. Let's just go back to the playground. Well, we could have done that, so why didn't we? This is what I'm talking about when I say risky ventures. I mean... If you're not equipped, if you don't think you can handle the rest of the building, then don't think, oh, I really need this building, I'm going to go in and see if I can do it. Okay, if you know that you can't do it, then don't do it. Okay, you need to think about these things logically. Okay, and I, I just wanted to say that, don't continue in a building if you know that you're not going to make it. After this floor, I knew I was getting out of that building. Whether she was coming with me was a different matter, but I was getting out of that building. But it was too little too late. We should have gone on the last floor. We didn't know what the... I mean, you, you can't be sure what cogs are going to come out next, which is why you can't just assume it's going to be a level 8 or a level 7 or an easy cog like that. You've got to take into account it could be four level 10s for all you know. But, you know, I don't know. I'm just... Anyway, there's no one to blame, apart from myself. I can't blame her, she can't blame me. Okay, because I, I was responsible for that as much as she was. I could have gotten out, and if I'd gotten out, then maybe she would have thought, well, I'm getting out as well. Maybe neither of us would have gone sad. Anyway, tunes, that's been all from Coach Kong for the video about risky ventures, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I certainly have, getting back doing this. And don't worry, the random tune show is still going to be up. Okay, thanks for watching for this episode of Coach.